what's up? How's it? Aloha. Welcome to Culturize. My name is Makari. This is the space where we get to talk, share, learn uh, culture, whether it's ethnic, whether it's native, whether it's social. Today, I'm excited because we get to talk about our cousins down in Micronesia. Micronesian culture is happening today. And I found the, this is this is the guy that I, I have. He's my go to. Um, if you see his face, you're like, wow, I know that guy. Uh, how's about a round of applause? My good friend Ozeki. Thank you, thank you. How are you, you, brother? Talk right into that microphone for me. Now, of course, we're, we're a cultured show, and we, we have to start things according to our culture, and, and protocols, of course, is very important to us. So, no, no way. Tahala, no puna dawahi ne. No dahalua no ihilawe. Alohai, alohai, alohai. Ah, perfect. Mahalo. First of all, brother, mahalo for being here. Thank I know you, you're thank busy you. because. Let, let's really quick go over everything that you do. I, 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 I love this guy because he does everything. So. The funny story is we originally met because you're a chef and you were doing a food for a luau, right? And I got to say right off the bat, mahalo you because of all the years I've worked in a luau, years, I don't want to say how long, he's the first chef who's actually fed dancers. Like he didn't give us leftovers. You didn't. You didn't. Thank none you. of you actually made. He walks in the back, and every night he brings in fresh pans of food for the dancers, which is always funny because you gotta watch what we eat. But chef, and then you're also a musician, an artist, a producer. You do island music, right? Um, what 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 don't you do? And the, this is the other thing about you that I, I, I like. To, you're also, um, I consider you a healer because you have knowledge in plant Micronesian plant medicine, right? This guy does everything. If you could categorize and look at everything that you do, what is most important to you? Um, I would say um, living in Hawaii because, yeah, uh, ever since I came here, that's when everything just started out. Yeah, and um, like uh, how I told you, I met a uh, business partner uh -huh. and then just gave me all opportunities to start out with. How long have you been in Hawaii already? Uh, this is my seventh years. Wow. Uh, yeah. Where uh, were you before? Because you, you lived actually all, a lot of different places. Where were you yes. before this? So I was in Seattle. Wow. Yeah. Um, uh, after high school in Guam, mm -hmm. then I moved to Seattle. Ended up with uh, some local artists, and we toured the whole United States. Yeah. Okay, so this is now. This is my question, right after. Yeah. How does a boy from Micronesia get to Seattle, or go to Guam, Seattle, Hawaii? It, it, did you just you always knew when you were young you just wanted to leave the island and, and go? Uh, yeah, uh, but majority is the music. The music that made me fly. <laughs> or, yeah. Originally, you're from where? I'm from Chuk. Chuk. Oh yeah. Now this is this is sometimes it's funny to me. Not well, not funny, but sometimes bad. But a lot of people don't realize. So we always use the word Micronesia. Micronesia. Right? How many islands? So is correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't there 600 islands that make up? That's uh, 600 plus. That's including all the small atolls, uh -huh. and there's also people living there too. Really? Yeah, but the major islands are nine altogether. Nine altogether. Mm. So, and those are, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, those are the federated states. Uh, federated states are four states, which is Chu, Bombay, Kushrai, and Yap. What, what, what would be the, so all the other ones that aren't federated, and that just, they're just independent. Independent, uh, Guam and Saipan became U.S. Right. territory, and. How many, how many of the 600 have you been to? Uh. Don't, all of them? <laughs> <laughs> no, not all of them. I, I, I've never been to the outer lagoon. And the only way to get to those outer ones is you got to go by boat, right? Boat, correct. Wow. Mm. If you're joining us, um, first of all, thank you. We're, we're going to be talking about Micronesian culture. I want you to think about this for me. Um, 
how important is culture to you? All right. Think about that one. Uh, don't forget, hit the notification button. Subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube, if you're watching us on TV. Thank you so much for doing that. All our audio platforms. This is where we're going to share, talk, and learn culture. And we're specifically sitting with Ozeki, my good friend from Micronesia, specifically Chuk, and we're going to find out about the uh, Micronesian culture uh, and everything else that he does. We always do it here <laughs> on Culturized. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHIGHTHING. Bank of Hawaii, welcome to tomorrow. Member FDIC. Hey, thanks a lot for joining us, Culture Rise. My name is McCuddy. I'm so excited because uh, we... we Always, we, we, everybody has Micronesian friends. Uh, we hear about Micronesians a lot and you guys travel. And, and I wanted to really dive into it because a lot of us, we have no idea. We, ha we, we don't really know the depth of uh, Micronesian culture. And it's always funny because we use the word Micronesia, but we just talked about there's 600 plus different islands, nine main ones, and four federated. And then Guam and Saipan is is part of the U.S. The federated ones are are they their own? Would they could be considered their own country? Uh yeah. Uh, we became a nation, and then yeah, the that made up for the four states. Yeah. Language wise, okay. How important is language and culture to you? Uh very important. Uh, I I think. Um, after World War II, I think uh, everybody just kind of modernized with English and after that, but pretty much the whole time. Does, well, let's just focus on the Federated and the Nine. Do they have different uh, languages or different dialects? So, like, if you're from Chuk and you talk to somebody from Pompeii, or would they understand you? So, let's say uh, Pompeii is less than, I'll, I'll say, uh, less than 100 miles uh -huh. apart. And different language <laughs> so, so you cannot even they wouldn't even understand no wow but there is some um uh dialect that uh -huh. they can we can understand a little bit so there, there's like yeah. the, almost like pigeon mm -hmm. yes right you guys yes. have to mm -hmm. so even pompeii so e is that true for all the other islands so yes so everybody so from right, right there you can tell that ancestors are really stingy <laughs> 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 they're like this is our they're like no no even though they were neighbors it's a different language that's crazy so it's, mm. it's almost like polynesia so if if you want to get a bearing of where we're talking about so micronesia is in the western pacific so there's micronesia there's melanesia of course polynesia yep. 600 different atolls and is there some that are i i've been seeing that you know, with this, whether you believe in global warming or not, there is, but there's some of the islands that are going to go below sea level. Yes. Do, are people living on them? Uh, yes. Um, so that's one of the major problem for our state because I think uh, the more outer atoll, mm -hmm. I think they're going to be gone just less than five years, six mm -hmm. years. Wow. That's yeah. cool. And there is still people living on it. So what, I mean, do they, they just going to have to move to a main island? Just maybe moving. When, when you, when you grew up, when you were growing up in, in Chuk, um, you know, I grew up on a small island, Lanai, but we always had a desire to leave. Did you always have a desire to leave or did you want to stay? Um, yeah, I mean, I would always want to, you know, explore, mm -hmm. you know, so. Because my parents always said, go, you yeah. can always come back, just go. Mm -hmm. When it comes to culture, Micronesian culture, Chukis culture, um, what are some of the is, music? Is music a huge thing? Yeah. What, what would what would be at the top of the list if somebody said what is what is the the foundation of Chukis culture, or, was, or would it be because you you know medicine right? Right. Would it be that or yeah? Music? So so the I would say three major stuff that mm -hmm. medicine, music, and dance. No way. Yeah. Are you a dancer? Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of? See, I keep saying yeah. we need to put that in, in, in our shows. We got to have Micronesian culture uh, dances in our show. Um, so say that again. Three main things. Uh, medicine, medicine, music, music and, and dance. dance. Medicine-wise, because I know, I always appreciate when we talk medicine. Yes. Um, I was fortunate enough to study um, with, some, with some Micronesian elders. 
what I was surprised at was that is it same for the Chukis? Is it's the culture is very um, the women are the the powerful ones, right? Correct. So even in Chukis, uh, in Chuk, wow. So because I, when I, I remember I was studying with them, they gifted me a book and it said um, plant medicines for women. And I'm thinking, what about the guys? <laughs> what about the guys? Is there, because there's a lot of plant medicines that I was studying with these elders that it's, this book was specifically for, mostly for women. Women. Was there a lot of, what, what, what about the guys? <laughs> Be, before you answer that, mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we want to know how important men were in, in the Micronesian culture. And that's what we're talking about right now on Culturize. Our chance and your chance uh, to ask questions and get to know our, our brothers and sisters and our cousins from Micronesia and find out about every different island. I'm still blown away. Different languages. That's how we do it right here on Culturized. This show is sponsored by Hawaiian Telcom, Hawaii's technology leader. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. That's HiFi, letter C, letter U, dot com. Hey, thanks a lot for joining us right here in Culture. Don't forget to hit that notification button or subscribe. Um, I, I love sitting with this guy. We're sitting with Ozeki, orphan, and now Chukis, right? Um, born and raised, uh, traveled the world. And we're talking about how Micronesia, I learned that it's a very matriarchal society. It's the women who make decisions. Uh, I grew up with a lot of uh, Marshallese. And I remember going to the Marshall Islands. And even to the point where I didn't realize that the, that the women make the decisions for the men of who's going to go be a fisherman or who goes, uh, is it the same in, in Chuk? What, what is that like having to, I mean... It's, it sounds sexist, but you have to. The women are the ones that make the decisions. Right. Uh, I would uh, say it's just part of the culture. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, specifically for the medicine. Mm -hmm. So let's say the elders, mm -hmm. they will pass it to the women first mm -hmm. before the men. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, so if somebody was sick, you'd have to go see the, the females first. Yes. How did, how did you learn? Were, how were you lucky enough to learn it? Was it your parents or your grandparents? Uh, my grandparents, and mm -hmm. then it goes down to my parents, uh, and then uh, I started. To was was it like um, did your did your grandparents and parents pull you on the side and say, "This plant is this, this plant is," this, or did did you have to observe and so, watch them? So I had to. So they would never put myself into it. <laughs> so they would never so, tell you. Yeah, uh, that was your thing. Mm -hmm. So I started seeing them doing medicines and all that stuff, and then I just got interested in doing it at a young age. And How old then were you? Uh, I think I was ten. Wow! Yeah. Wow! So I, I'm. It's it's just like Hawaii. Then in, in old Hawaii, you were actually pulled away as a youngster to, to be taught those specific things. Was that something that your parents and grandparents said? No, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna have you carry this knowledge of medicine. You're gonna because you have brothers and sisters. Yes, I do. Uh, I have older ones, and uh, none of them know nothing about it. <laughs> no, are you are, where, where are they living? Are they still back home? Uh, yeah, I have a couple back home, but mo most of us are in uh, Washington, Seattle. Wow. Yeah. How, how did that happen? What, what, what brought you to Seattle? I mean, I know music, but did you guys just decide, like, we're going to go? So, so we have, um, so my two aunties uh -huh. uh, left, like, in the 60s. Wow. Yeah, so they're the first one that went out there. But I, I probably don't know others, but... Uh -huh. And then they start, you know. It's always it's, it's interesting to me where island people we end up, yeah. right? You're right. thinking to ourselves, yeah. we're on these small islands, and we're gonna end up like in Seattle, in the Midwest. But there's there's a lot of there's a lot of um, Pacific Islanders up there as well. So as as you were learning plant medicine, um, where did the music come in? Um, or was it always in? It was just. Yeah, I think uh, everything's self taught. Yeah, really? and. Um, uh, my dad is really, really musically talented, and uh, my dad actually the first one to brought um, modern music to Chuk. Really? In the eighties. What, what yeah. was it? Uh, it was everything from guitar, keyboard, 
um, pedal steel, harmonica. Are you serious? But that time, everybody was just like you okay, and so, guitar. So traditionally, yeah. What did 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 the Chukis have instruments? Uh, yeah. So what, what, it's like just drums or what? Just drums, uh, the uke uh -huh. and guitar. No way. Yeah. So maybe you see some leaves that uh -huh. yeah i saw some but I, I don't know what it is but and and your dad was so me. my dad actually uh went when oregon uh he went to uh, university of oregon and then he took music class and he completed every single thing and brought it back home <laughs> that's, that's it's i i love the foresight of, of your dad that he's like i'm gonna go to yeah. this continent i'm gonna go learn music and I'm gonna bring back. So he was he was everybody's favorite person. So so right now I would say like all the elders, uh -huh. uh, if they see me, they'll be like, oh, that's his son, that's this guy's son. What, so what's your father's name? Uh, Alvin. So I, I so I'm gonna tell now I, mm -hmm. I'm gonna use that. To, you know I know the guy <laughs> who first brought in a Western <laughs> instruments to Chum. Now yes. Do do you know of at the time if there was any other islands um, that had uh, instruments? Uh, I I do not I I didn't know but uh, just by listening to other guys mm -hmm. from other islands that knew my dad, that I kind of. If you have questions about our cousins from Micronesia and what islands they're made up of and their culture, uh, comment down below if you're watching us on YouTube, sitting with Ozeki Orphan, uh, chef, musician, medicine man, all these things right here on Culturized. Culturized, brought to you by Beachside Roofing, the leaders. Poncho Solar is specialized in providing energy solutions throughout Hawaii since 1987. Call us at 808-773-7384. Hey, thanks a lot for joining us on Culturize. I got to thank my good friends from Sundot uh, at Hawaii Fish Flags for uh, my papale for keeping my, my hair in control. I got to thank Star Advertiser as well for giving us a space to talk culture and i'm so excited i i love learning from you every time we have conversations even outside of here i always leave conversations with you going the the knowledge you have and, and just learning about uh, a micronesia chuk to be exact um we're talking about everything that you do right the music i'm blown away you're dead he so he brought guitar harmonic and everything so he had to teach everybody how to play that uh no. <laughs> that you guys just knew. See, that's the other thing I, I'm jealous about. You guys can pick up an instrument and be like, oh, that's, this right. is how you do it. Mm -hmm. So was, was it like, so in old Hawaii, right? English language, Western music or instruments um, had hapa haole music. Now, was it at the point where you guys were singing traditional songs and, and, and songs in, in the Chukis language? What, what, is, what is the name of the Chukis language? Or is, is it just Chukis? It's just Chukis, now, yeah. Did you guys start singing traditional songs with Western instruments? So I think that's what really made me viral because wow. that's what I did. Because you were one of I, the first, I, right? I was one of the first. So Well, not actually, you were the first. Right? <laughs> I, I would because say yes. Um, other of, some other of my Micronesian friends from Chuk from Marcy's, they would sing, but they would always do English reggae Correct. or something Correct, that's else. what I was, I was going to say. I had uh, two bands before me uh -huh. that... Uh, from Chuk, but they were doing like English right. songs and stuff. But then, what were you thinking? Th like, just was it a dream? Was it you just wanted to try it? I, I think I was just playing with them, and then I started realizing like, I I can change the music. I can change the style. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, what what was the first style? So you're thinking in your head, okay, I'm, I want to sing in Chukis, but was it reggae? Was it pop? Was it uh, reggae. Yeah. yeah. Is is it huge? Yes. Oh no way. So, if uh, I think reggae in Micronesia right now is taking over uh, our own music, uh, I mean our cultural music. Now, uh, do you do you make sure that these younger musicians say, "Hey, don't forget, Chukis." Um, yes. Because um, they look up to you right now. I see. I, there, there's a lot of musicians even in Hawaii mm -hmm. that that are actually looking for you to do cameos on their videos and do guests on their on their songs um what was what was the first song you did in chukis and dropping a reggae 
beat on or any any beat so it was actually a church song no and, way. and that's, i think that's what flipped everybody's out yeah so you did a church song in a reggae beat in a reggae beat what did the elders think uh they were like please do some more <laughs> <laughs> oh for real yeah. they were mad no no way yeah because no way. uh i didn't make it like upbeat right. reggae yeah I made it like a really roots, like uh, a roots uh, sound kind. Yeah, and then they were like, "It's a total surprise for them." Like, wow, we never hear this a kind church of church song with a roots mm -hmm. beat. Um, what is the name of the song? Uh, oh, can you sing the first verse? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I because it's honestly I've never say something in Chukis. I've I vaguely remember because it was always fun. My friends from Chukis. They wouldn't want to speak Chukis when we would hang out. But I would always say, could say something. Yeah. But they're like, um, no. Easy, easy one. Aloha is Ran and Nim. Say it again. Ran and Nim. Ran and Nim. Uh, and thank you, Kiriso. Kiriso. Mm. Um, and that's... Yeah. Was it hard? Did you, did you learn English growing up as well? Uh, yeah. Uh, I started picking up in Guam you know, when I went to Guam. Okay, that was, I, I remember you talking about high school. So how did you end up in Guam? Uh, Parents are like, get out? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's just like, so during that time, we're just like, you know, seeing everybody trying to get a better school and stuff uh, like that. So so Gua so for you, it's, it's kind of funny, so you and I, so it's like growing up on Lanai, right? For us to go away to the big city was Oahu. So I'm assuming for Chuk to go away to the big city was Guam, exactly. <laughs> yeah. which Guam I mm -hmm. think is, is smaller than than Oahu. Yeah, right. I, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, again, if you're joining us, this is Culturized. If you want to join us for the extended version, we're going to get even more deep into the Micronesian culture, things you didn't even know, right here on Culturized. <laughs> Hey, thanks a lot for joining us. This is Culturize. If you're on YouTube, this is the extended version. Thanks for joining us uh, initially. We now get to go even deeper. We're sitting with Ozeki, uh, my good friend from the island of Chuk. Um, I, I always wanted to for the longest time because we 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 all know a Micronesian, but we use that word. I always I, for me it even bothered me because we would say Micronesian all the time, but a lot of people don't realize that. That's it's the same word as Polynesian, right? Correct. So that's like looking at a. If I was looking at a Hawaiian, I said you're Polynesian. Yes, you are, but you're actually Hawaiian. So correct. by me calling you Micronesian, it's 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 correct, but you're actually Chukis, correct. right? Within those six hundred plus islands, the nine main, the federated, um, you guys get along. What in the old days did they war like Hawaiians and Polynesians, Tongans and someone's Did they war against uh, each other? Yes, I think so. I think that's what uh, the old stories they always say. That's what made up all the small atolls. So they were like, <laughs> <'Cause, laughs> <'cause> they were, <laughs> we we needed uh, our own island, so yeah. we're gonna go get that one. Yeah. And like you said earlier, the elders yeah. were stingy. Mm -hmm. Wow. But yeah, I I I was told stories a uh -huh. long time ago that there was actually a few between islands. So when it comes to what is, I don't even know if, if that's a question, religion-wise, were, were Chukis, we'll talk about Chukis, were they religious or were they spiritual? And, or or did, did, who who introduced religion to Chuk? Um, like, is, is, it, is it a lot of Catholics? And Catholics. Like, wow. So, so Catholics taught the whole. So they were, they were the first missionaries they that would come over. the first missionaries, and then... Uh, Protestant came after. Wow. Yeah. What is the prominent one now? Catholic? Uh, Catholic. Wow. So yeah. you were raised religiously what? Catholic. So you took yeah. these. Now, th which is also interesting because we talked about earlier that you, one of your very first songs was a church song. Yes. Was that a church song written for Catholic religion? Uh, yes. Wow. Um, can you sing a couple bars? <laughs> or, or what, what are the words? What, what is the words to do that? Or you can sing it whatever you want. The first. Um, Let's yeah. pretend we're in church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just something like. Uh, 
Arabas. So something like that. It says, "What does it mean?" Um, just you know, our heavenly Father uh-huh. just looking down on us, seeing our suffers and everything. Wow. Yeah. Is it hard to translate Chukis to English or vice versa? It's really hard. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so that's I, that's what I, I I always am intrigued by language because now because you've traveled so much, right? And is it also like Hawaiian considered a living language? Because you have to you have to add words, right? Like right. You got to come up with a word for guitar. You got to come up with a word for mm-hmm. computer. Um, who does that? Is is there like a, a elders in 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 Chuk that say, oh, we don't have we don't have a name for um, uh, video camera microphone? Or you just so I think it happens before we became modernized, yeah. But mm-hmm. so but, they, but yeah, so. Uh, Speaking of the Chukis language, mm-hmm. one word can mean a lot of oh, things. So it's, like Hawaii, English. it's like Hawaiian. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so so that's why, like, if if I were to translate it in uh-huh. English, I would think of what English what word talking because wow. it can be like you know meaning of a lot of things. No, wait, like yeah. what, what would be one one word in Chukis that could mean hundreds of things? Uh, just. Uh, Example for the Rana name, it can be hello, hi, how are you? Can it, <laughs> yeah. Are, are there swear words? Uh, oh, lots. Is it for real? <laughs> yeah. <In your case? laughs> yeah. We we can we can say uh, them on this on, yeah, on this the, one. What what's, uh, what's your what's the your to- favorite? The talk word is um, if 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 you try to learn Turkish language, uh-huh. you gotta start with the curse one first. <laughs> <laughs> favorite favorite mm. curse word when you were growing up. The first one you learned. Uh, say the. What does it like, mean? You're the B. <laughs> oh, it is? Say it again. Say the. Say the. What what else is there? We can let's just go out. Let's just do all the. Let's just do all the chukis. Now are there are there words? Of course, there's the English equivalent, right? Yes. So mm. like like for Hawaiian, we we didn't really have swear words, but we had phrases. That made people like like whoa, right? Um, like for example, um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of words like uh, they they would say they would call somebody lai li'i li'i, right? Which would be the small tea leaf. And if you think about it, the small tea leaf wasn't really used for anything. You can't wrap food. You can't do anything. So oh, you're pretty I much see. good for nothing. Oh, right? I see. But mm. did you guys have phrases like that, or were they specific swear words that correlated to English? Yeah, like both. so. What, what, so, what, what would be the yeah. F word? Uh, there's a lot. <laughs> Are you serious? There's <laughs> a lot that uh, can go with that one F word. What's what's uh, a couple of them? So one is. Uh, can you say <laughs> so you you feel good your elders aren't going to be watching your elders aren't going to be watching uh, man i sh- i shame say say get on on tv what um okay what what we'll, we'll see that's a good chukis he he's aware of of because, his surroundings because i have like you know followers and so gonna, that's what i was going to say so cuz you're at a point now because of music right you are you're one of the trendsetters of taking uh, Chukis and Micronesian culture, and I, I say modernizing it. So you do have a lot of followers. Yes. So do you ever get, do you ever get um, reprimanded or flack? So say like we're talking about this, like say you say some swear words. Would you have later on some of your elders or people calling you going, hey? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So uh, today with social media, uh-huh. yeah, I can. You got to watch everything. I know. I can see elders are involved <laughs> yeah, just uh, uh the other day one of my friends mm-hmm. uh um, actually posted on his page grandpa and grandma just created a facebook no way <laughs> so now so, you guys really got so to- now we're, we're kind of like whoever i mean it's totally up mm-hmm. to whoever like right. yeah but w- with that i mean so structurally in the family what is the word for family uh fabiri fabiri yeah Within the family now, everybody has a role, right? Um, so even you living away and going even in other Chukis and other Micronesians, they still have that respect of, of everybody around them because they know somebody's watching. Yes. 
brothers and sisters, where do you sit? One, two, first, oldest, youngest? Uh, oldest. Wow. How, how old is your youngest sibling? The youngest? Yeah. Uh, he's only like four, five so, years younger than So me. you really got to be careful <laughs> what you yeah. say. Um, mm-hmm. Are your parents in Hawaii? Um, I lost my dad. Okay. Um, I lost my mom just a month ago. Oh, sorry uh, to hear that, brother. Were they were they here or back home? Uh, the uh, mom was here, and then she went back home and got sick. Oh, I see. Yeah. So all the brothers and sisters here. All of us are here. So you now are father figure. You have to. You're you're the one. So you now become the authority figure, in Micronesian culture. Um, was it like that as well? You, you being the oldest, have to take care and raise the younger. Uh, yes, I think it's just pretty much it applies on all the. Do islands, you so. do you have kids yourself? Uh, I have two. So you not only have your two, then you have younger brothers and sisters. Yes. Where do you find time to do everything that you do? Because <laughs> you're you're at you're at the restaurant every day. Mm-hmm. You cater movies. Mm-hmm. You cater luau. Mm-hmm. You produce. Music videos, right? Mm-hmm. And you produce music itself, mm-hmm. and you do music, and the apartments. That's <laughs> so. Basically, Chukis don't sleep. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I think um, I would say you, you you can only see this out of the twenty percent. The whole eighty, it's different. <laughs> so is it because because you work that hard that work ethic that you have I all I'm always intrigued by your work ethic because you never stop is that something you got from culture like you, did your parents instill in you you have to work you have to do everything correct I think um, uh, personality really mm-hmm. depends on who raised you mm-hmm. uh, uh, from back home I mean because every every culture we have we have knuckleheads right right we have knuckleheads correct um, but you you were lucky enough to to be raised by parents that said no this is this is what you got to do mm-hmm. do you instill that same cultural um practices in your kids and your brothers and sisters uh yes uh siblings is, is still very deep uh, yeah. between all, all of us uh it's hard for our kids nowadays mm-hmm. because we're living on a state uh That's, out, out at different yeah. islands if it's back home yeah um Right now in your life, would you, or, or even even when you're ready to retire, do you want to stay in Hawaii or go back to Chuk? Um, I love Hawaii. Yeah? Yeah, but maybe I'll go back and forth. <laughs> see, yeah, yeah. I, I always like, see, I, I eventually want to go back to my island, mm-hmm. right? Because um, growing, growing up in Chuk, I mean, you were surrounded by water. Yeah, were you, would you go to the beach a lot or no? Yes. Um, fishing is a competitive sport, and then. Do you fish here in Hawaii? Uh, uh, not me, but. See, you're like, uh, you're like me. Yeah. When I go home, yeah. I'll go diving. I'll go fishing. When I'm on Oahu, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't do that stuff. <laughs> I don't do that right. stuff. Are you so back to that? Are you you're teaching your kids what kind of practices, what kind of chukis, or what kind of Micronesian practices? Are you teaching your kids and your and your siblings? Yeah, first and foremost, it's just how I grew up with the parents, grandparents, mm-hmm. and respect is almost, I mean, the first. Like every other ev- Pacific everything, culture. Everything, yeah. Um, you know, humble and all that stuff, help each other. I like so. that. If you're joining us, hit the notification bell, subscribe. We're, we're talking uh, Chuki, specifically culture. Uh, one of the islands of the 600 of, of the Micronesian islands, so we, we want to share that with you. Um, before we go, this is one thing Two things I want to talk about because a lot of people see it and they really don't know. First of all, um, is you know the dress that the women wear? Is it the same throughout Micronesia? Um, it uh, I I know Chukis, Ponibin, Kosh mm-hmm. Shrine. Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty much the federated. State. What is it called? Uh, Nikotang, which is Nikotang. which is Mumu. Oh no way! Yeah. You know what I was surprised at? Those things are highly prized, right? Yes. And they're expensive. Yes, it's same thing with the skirt. That's why. Yes. And is it all handmade? Well, before it was handmade? It, before it's, uh, you can tell uh-huh. the handmade one, and the handmade, those are the expensive ones. So it, you actually, you're, you're, you would be lucky to have one 
if yes. you were a female? Yes. Is is it is it a part of status or is it just It's I think that that was the first clothing that Oh, they, that okay. That, yeah, so okay. I think it's it's important and of course it's their status too and it's cultural too because uh, the ladies show respect mm -hmm. to the men to cover everything up. Ah, okay. Because they, I see them use it. It's either around their waist, waist. or above their chest. Mm -hmm. Or, wow, that's versatile. Yeah. Now, other thing, and I've tried this before. And holy moly, beetle nut. <laughs> I, I I tried it once. Yeah. I don't, it was it was slightly whoa. I I'm it, a I'm a heavy chewer myself. Explain this. Yes what that does because we everybody sees and knows but they don't really what what does it do to you because i i just say it got me initially i was like oh speeding and then maybe about 10 minutes later i was like <laughs> just <laughs> completely relaxed what does it do so it's like um did you ever try kava yes so it's like a a quick version of kava whoa <laughs> yeah so you, so you ha you have it for like 10, 15 minutes, uh -huh. and that's it. And that can last the day? Um, it depends on uh -huh. how you how you mix it. So I, I, I was taught when, when I was, the, the reason why I tried it was one of my friends from Kosurai, mm -hmm. he came to Haola Village in, in Waianae, and we were walking around, and he saw, um, I look at it, it was just covering of plants, and he was excited. <laughs> like, he looked at this thing, was like, <laughs> Bakari! Do you know what this is? I was like, yeah, it's, it's plants. He goes, no, this is, I need this. He goes, I pay for this stuff at the liquor store. And I said, what is it? A pepper plant or that leaf? What yeah. is that leaf? Yeah, the, I don't, I what don't is, what know. What is the, is there a Chukis word for it? Uh, water one. Water one. Yeah. Cool. So every week I would go cut <laughs> for him, right? Yeah. Because that's, and he said, you put the, the, the beetle in that. But he made the, when he made it for me, he cracked the nut. And what is the white stuff that you put inside? It's the coral paste. Yeah. Like from the ocean from coral. From the ocean. So they scrape it uh -huh. and uh, cook it for days. Uh -huh. And it becomes paste and spicy. <laughs> wow. So what, what is it? What is it? Does it do? Is it the reaction with the so, beetle nut? So actually, like. You know how they mix it, uh -huh. right? You see, yeah. how you, that's the whole process so right there. All that so if one single thing is missing, you None. cannot use it. What? Yeah. So leaf, the water, water one. The water one. And what? Then, what do they call the beetle nut? Uh, poo. Poo. Yeah. And inside the poo, you crack it. The puet. The which is the, uh, Yeah. And then you just. And then you put it in, and then today. They they add nicotine to it. Whoa! Add so they're get, they're they're modernizing it even double. Because I I literally had it. I probably maybe three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> and then yeah. my, I had to take it out. Mm -hmm. How long? How long? On the average, you, you, do you chew it? You suck on it? Because I was sucking on it. So or, yeah. So you chew it, but you don't swallow the two. So you have to spit it up. So it's just whatever you're working it. Uh -huh. uh, while you doing it, like chewing tobacco, it, you just exactly. spit out. Exactly. Because it's funny, my, my friend from Costa, his wife says, if he's not chewing beetle nut, I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> She's she said for some reason he doesn't he doesn't function without it. Yeah, for so, so it, that's true. It's basically just it kind of keeps you mellow then. Yes. So if uh, it's just like other. You know, like secret, yeah. The first mm. time you tried, you feel everything, and then it just became a habit. Only men? Uh, and women. Really? Yeah. Wow. And the small adults, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Serious? Seriously. And and that's been going on for generations? For generation after generation. Wow. Things we're learning, my yeah. things you see, but we didn't know. So if you're joining us, uh, thank you for uh, joining us right here on the extended version. This is YouTube. Don't forget to check out our website as well, culturize.com. Ozeki, mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. What thank was the Chuki's so word again for thank Kiri you? Kirisotapu. Kirisotapu for being here thank as busy so as you are. You got a, any comments, any questions about our friends from uh, the Micronesian Islands, specifically Chuk? This is the guy to ask. Thanks a lot for joining us, Culturized. Mm -hmm.